This is JC with Scorpio Wolf Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the fire sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. The roles can be reversed, so flip it as you may see fit. And also, these readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're meant to see and hear them, that is when you're meant to see and hear these readings. I've gone ahead to pull the cards for you to save times. To save time to keep these readings under five to ten minutes so let's get to your reading so aries the, the energy i get between you and the person you came to this reading for is the knight of cups so you you're kind of a little closed off in showing each other of that off giving each other that offer of love you know i think you kind of i kind of feel that you guys in the past have had some kind of hurt but you you know passionately between the two of you i kind of feel that there is some passion between the two of you. It's just the fear of what happened in the past. Uh, disappointments. It's kind of holding, having you hold that message of love and not expressing each other that message. Or that, you know, that offer. Um, it was clarified by the three of, three, of, uh, three of Wands, which is a card of no movement. There's nothing going on here. There's, it's stagnant. There's fear creeping up. You know, the fear is, fear is keeping you from moving forward or, you know, taking progress. And with the Three of Wands being here, that means that you're just, you're waiting for, you're pretty much waiting for something to come in, but there's really nothing coming in because you're, you haven't made any progress towards that, that goal. And that's the same, you know, that's to say with the Nine of Cups, it's a stagnant energy. It's like stuck there. It's not doing anything and it's just hanging out, you know, just kind of wait and see kind of attitude. Um, not no movement energy. There's fear of paralyzing me from making that offer. So I kind of feel that the energy between you is like just the fearful energy. You know, uh, once you're holding back your emotions, they're holding back their emotions, and it's causing you guys not to come together at the moment. Um, you're with the three of wands being in your favor. You kind of, I kind of get the, the impression that you Aries are ready to go. You guys are just waiting for what the, the 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 seeds that you've planted or the route that you've taken to bear fruit. You're waiting for your ships to come in. That's the Three of Wands card. That's what usually what you kind of see in these readings. Is that your ships are trying to come in, and with this person, you're waiting for you know you're waiting for some kind of message from this person you're waiting for them to make that gesture towards you to for you to come towards them so if you can if you're like waiting out there for you're waiting for that wave and so that you can ride that wave you know in and ride that perfect wave in so you're wa waiting for that wave of emotions to come in so that you can ride that wave um because you kind of feel that's going to be your abundance card with the the nine of pentacles you know that's you you've you're looking at see you're what you've what you've planted you're uh enjoying the abundance of that and sharing that abundance with other people so you have a lot of love in your heart and you're sharing it with other people that love with other people as you're waiting for this message to come in so you can ride that wave in now your person another passionate card is the chariot card so they're coming towards you they are racing towards you they are they have that that sight set on you they're coming in fast and it's only clarified by the chariot again so you know that's telling me that it, they could be coming from a distance you know but there is movement towards you that's uh the chariot card and you're getting two chariot cards as the clarifier and the main card that's just telling me that you guys are well they are what they're coming towards you and like I said, it's either from a you know long distance or, or but there's there's definitely a lot of movement going on with with them in their energies. So there's a lot of movement going on in the background. But again, you guys are kind of in this waiting pattern with this fear card, with this fear of love card. So I kind of feel that when as you as you know as you progress through this this week, you're gonna see you know that that. That drop in the guard, you're going to be dropping the guard between each other, because they're racing towards you. You're waiting for them. You're just waiting for that 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 gesture. You're just waiting for that gesture to come in so that you can move forward with them. So, 
that's going to be your reading in, in less than five minutes, which is awesome. Uh, thank you for joining me this week. This going to, if you like the way I read, read or resonated with you in any way, uh, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already done so, hit the like button. That kind of gets my content spread out through other YouTubers. And also hit the, uh, leave a comment if this resonated with you in any way. Leave a comment if you enjoyed the reading. Leave a comment. Uh, positive feedbacks are always welcome. Uh, thank you again for joining me this week, and have a great week. Oh, forgot to mention where we are on the on the subscription base uh, goal. So we are at thirty six uh, active subscribers, and our goal is 50, 50 subscribers for this this time around. So that's the goal I have set for us. Uh, I hope to complete it by hopefully end of the week. If not, you know, we can just push it forward. But that's the goal. Thank you and have a great week.